in pluribus unum. In pluribus unum. In pluribus many unum. One. And that was all Adam Smith. I am a capitalist, but I'm a capitalist under the capitalism of Adam Smith. I'm not a capitalism. We don't even have capitalism. We got socialism. Just for the wealthy. That's what the United States, this is essentialism for the wealthy. That's not that capitalism Adam Smith came up with. Adam Smith said, divine self-interest. You yeah, you hear this out, divine self-interest? And I pursue mine. And who's going to benefit the greater good? That if anybody is blocked, the black America and women have been blocked. It was no longer capitalism. That's what Adam Smith proposed. And that's how we got into this wealth gap nonsense in the beginning. Cutting back on taxes, giving the wealthy a benefit, thinking, oh man, we cut back on taxes. These entrepreneurs are going to take that windfall and throw it in the businesses, and they didn't do it. What did they do? They bought a bigger airplane, they bought a bigger yacht. That's what Jeff Bezos is doing right now to Amazon. He bought a bigger yacht. And look at his Amazon workers crying for a pay raise. Come on, man, you got a tax break. Go ahead and kick it out. But hey, and let, and let others pursue their divine self interest. He dumped his face white, got somebody younger, more shapelier. What the hell are you doing, Bezos? Well, it all goes back to Adam. This is what Adam Smith had in mind. Divine self, who is it? The greater good. That's called self actualization. And what was self actualization? What you aspire to be, you want to be self actualized. Mother Teresa was self actualized. St. Francis of Assisi was self actualized. All right, human nature. You want food, shelter, and clothing. Then what's the next level? Well, you want better food, shelter, and clothing. Then that's the next level. You want the best food, shelter, and clothing that you can buy. But what's the final level? You want food, shelter, and clothing for your fellow man, fellow woman. We have yet to get to that level. And let's wrap a bow on this and take it to the March on Washington. That's what Martin Luther King was saying. What in the world do you think is the divine community? That's what he's talking about. The divine community community, the brotherhood. I mean, am I, you know, my brother, you know, brothers keep it known, you're your brother's brother. That's what Napoleon Hill was talking about when they made me listen to that, you know, that conference that he gave in 1959 in Chicago, W. Clement Stone sat me down, said, listen to this, 1959, Napoleon Hill. And that woman who was at the comments, Dr. Hill, and these principles is that you expose them for anybody, or they said, what do you mean anybody? She said, without regard to race, creed, and color, 1959, Napoleon Hill, a white male, born in the South. So let's get one thing straight, there's lots of things race. He said that in 59. <laughs> we need to be self actualized. I want it for everybody. I want it for everybody. So, uh, we had a good session today. And there you are.